Hey guys, welcome back to some more Tennis World Tour. I'm Joe if you're new around here and welcome to part one of season four. I've decided to reboot the series a little bit in terms of its numbering and that since it's been uh, a couple of months now since we've played Tennis World Tour. There's been a couple of big patches uh, that have supposedly helped out the game. Uh, but if you if you haven't seen the series so far, check out the playlist. The first 60 parts are available there. Uh, this will be out every Thursday currently at 1pm um, for the moment and, and we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm looking forward to this. We're starting off with the Australian Open obviously, or their equivalent of it. Um, and, and we're taking on Alexander Zverev in the first round. How realistic is that? And the world number five taking on the world number four in the first round. Never mind. Um, but uh, yeah, it should be a. If we can get through this match, it should be a fairly easy run to the final, you would say. There's not too many um, big players on this side of it. Obviously, Warinka and, and Federer are the big guys on the other side. So. Yeah, um, I mean Dimitrov is another one. Um, where is Dimitrov? He doesn't seem to be on there. Maybe he's injured or something. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back into this. Uh, make sure you you leave a like down below if you do enjoy. If we could hit 50 likes on this video, it would be absolutely amazing. Um, you know, obviously 108,000 views on the first part of the career mode, all the way back in May. Not sure we'll quite hit it with this one, but uh, you know. 50 100 likes that would be terrific uh, if we could hit that so brand new year 2019 we're 2021 in the game let's get into it so yeah as I say there has been a couple of big patches for the game uh, recently so I'm interested to see how it plays I honestly haven't played this game in over two months now so it is gonna be tough for me to, 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 to get back into it you would suggest but We'll see. You can do the same as us. From coaches to consultants, a lot of people use statistics to analyze play. So here we go. Professional difficulty, of course. Because um, Federer is the only legend difficulty player on the game. The, the Australian Open and uh, Stadium looks a, a little bit different. Oh. Yeah, that's out. Not Disappointing control. start for us there. But uh, this serve thing is a little bit different. Nice ace there to continue on. So it looks like they haven't fixed that glitch where sometimes the player just stands still when you take a serve. Volley there, but he does come out and return it somehow. But we managed to, to put him away there, which is very, very good. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the patches were mainly online. Obviously, online was virtually unplayable before, and uh, now it's apparently much more stable. According to their patch notes, but uh, I haven't played it so I wouldn't know, but maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments if you're still playing this game and if uh, if their, their words are true. Um, they have added a, a fairly cool thing uh, in the career mode, hopefully that drops in and it has done, which I'll talk about in a second and there there we go we've got the first game on the board which is very nice to see but uh, yeah they've added in sort of a, a career overview thing of stats and uh, you know performance in, in past tournaments and stuff like that which is very very cool uh, something that Top Spin 4 could have done with back in the day it had the, the, the stats part it just didn't have how you done in, in the um, over the career of uh, tournaments. Um, meanwhile, this is qu quite an intense uh, point, but we've lost it there. Um, but uh, it appears that those have only became active since the um, since the the champions finals or whatever it was called. What I called the WTA, not the WTA, the ATP World Tour finals. Um, 
Very long. Yeah, so we've only got stats from them, which is a little bit disappointing, but, you know, we've got them for the future now. Uh, we obviously won the US Open last year as well, so um, we're, we're certainly looking to keep progressing with our uh, ranking and get more Grand Slams in the under our belt. It's a very tough start, you know, I can't exactly play my way in to wow. this uh, tournament. Zverev is a, is a tough opponent and I expect this to go multiple sets. A real nice serve there, 120 down the tee. Oh. Just too many unforced errors at the moment, unfortunately. Certainly noticing that the AI seem to not be making any mistakes as of yet, but. Um, We'll see as this match goes on. Ooh. Oh, nice one. Nice one there. But I'm really impressed with the graphical improvements to the game. I'm, I'm not sure it was this beautiful in uh, the Australian one before, but it really does look good. Um, so, yeah. But... Uh, Another nice hole to serve there. A couple of aces is always nice uh, to see. Oh, what a shot that is, though. On the run. And we whack it for a, for a winner. Oh, nice one. Nice one there. I do plan on going uh, back to AO International Tennis at some point as well. But uh, obviously, if you didn't see me... Uh, video on New Year's Day then make sure you go and check it out because that's got all the schedule information and uh, and sort of averages for the, the series so far absolutely incredible um, you know over 4,000 views on average every episode which for a channel my size is absolutely insane so it, it was an absolute no-brainer to bring this back it won't be multiple times a week as of as of yet because it's it's very time consuming. Oh, I like that. The break point thing in the corner. That is I like that. Little things like that is, is why I love it. Oh, I thought we took it there. Second break point now, but I love that little uh thing that's flashed up in the corner. Oh. Brilliant! And we got our first break. Of our return, 3-1 in this opening set. But yeah, it is a very time-consuming uh, series to record. And if you don't know, my time is, is pretty limited at the moment. I've got quite a few exams coming up in uh, in January, uh, starting next week. So certainly for the moment, we're just going to be going with uh, a couple of sets of video and one video a week for now. But uh, we'll see. We'll see and uh, going forward how we can switch up the series a little bit. Ooh, that's okay. But yeah, let me know what you think of the, the, the fresh thumbnail as well. More in line with the sort of style that I've went for on the channel. Nah, that's wide. 30 shots in that one though. Not enough control. Fun shot. little rally, just disappointing end to it. Love 15. Pulling out an nice ace one. at a time like that. Incredible. Certainly feel like the serving has been improved a little bit. All that's nope. missing is Enforced error. Nice to see. Let's try one out wide. Didn't quite work, did it? And what we used to like is a top spin out wide, but he was onto that in a flash. Must have remembered the last time he played us. Let's go for a little drop shot, and yeah, that's worked out quite nicely. Fairly well disguised. You feel like the AI should be running after that, but not that bothered. And another ace there, nicely placed. 4-1 here, very, very nice start for us. 
And if we were to see it get through the first two sets in the first uh, 20 minutes or so, then um, I will go on and play the third set. It's just more of a length of video problem that uh, I have with doing the whole match in a video. Now, I'm just checking, and they, they haven't. Uh, I was checking to see if they'd done the, the save in match, but uh, they haven't added that in yet. That is definitely something they need to add, though. Ah. Should have went down the line there, but uh, got a little bit fearful and ended up making the error, unfortunately. Shot. Brilliant shot there. Oh, look at that. Look at that, he is unhappy with that one. Oh. I don't know why he was so mad at it. We played a pretty good shot. Maybe we're just frustrating him with the, the sheer power at the moment. opened up the opportunity and we take it that is absolutely brilliant and look at him I'll tell you what losing respect from here with uh, those two outbursts come on yes second break already of the match 5-1 ahead I certainly wasn't expecting this. Yeah. It looks like drop shots are broken again on this game, unfortunately. So. And an ace. Nice one there. Oh, and again. That was lovely. He's really unhappy. Look at him. Stroppy teenager. Three set points here. And we only need one of them. We swap that away brilliantly. 6 1, first set within 10 minutes. Absolutely brilliant there. And obviously, Zverev has uh, gone up in the world since my last video uh, on Tennis World Tour. He obviously won the ATP World. Uh, finals, uh, beaten Federer in the semis and beaten Djokovic in the finals. So uh, his stock has, has raised definitely in in real life. Um, Second set. But that that's no reason to behave the way he has been so far in this match. It's absolutely brilliant. And we're really starting to take control of the match here. Well. Ooh. Double fault there. Tell you what, we got on to that return, but just couldn't quite get his back for some reason. Oh, nice one! Thirty all now. A little 
drop shot. He's, he's not coming forward. It looks it looks as if there's, there's a glitch where if you play the drop shot, he's not going to run forward. I might test that out in a little bit. And that's three out of three that that's happened on now. And it's due. Could just be a coincidence, but more likely it's going to be a glitch. Let's try it here. If we get a chance, of course. No, he, he ran forward for that one. So this is a uh, difficult. Disappointing from Love Thirty to have now thrown this game away. Really. Oh, nice one. And hopefully. That, that cheers them up a little bit. 1-0. And an ace. Mm. I'm liking how many aces we're getting. I know it's probably not the most realistic in the world, but... I'll settle for it. Certainly makes up for the lack of unforced errors from the AI anyway. at his feet. Wouldn't have been much he could do about that even if he did get a racket on it. And there we go. Nice easy hold. One all. No oh, shot. He just had me in two minds there of where he was going. Yeah, we held our composure well there. He sort of went at our feet. We went back to him thinking, well, have we lost our chance here? But we composed ourselves and went for a brilliant backhand there. And we get the point on the board. like this match is starting to settle down a little bit. He certainly seems to have regained his composure after a few little outbursts towards the end of that um, first set. Dragged it wide, unfortunately. 2 1. It's now the score. That's wide. The forehand goes wide. Not enough control on the shot. He needs to change his position. I like it. It just isn't good. one of them things unfortunately there oh no idea what that orange text says by the way it's all over too quickly it's obviously negative but uh no idea. Nice easy hold again though. 2-2 two, two. is the score.
like it. It's a good shot there. Backhand down the line. Oh, nice volley. Nice volley. Should have went for the lob there, really, but uh, just kind of panicked and went for the pass. Truly executed. was brilliant. Picked our spot and hit it. Drop shot now then. Yeah, he's not running towards that. He seems to be stuck. You can see his legs moving, but he seems to be stuck on that, so... We'll try not to use a drop shot too much. Go for the slice instead, and yep, he's throwing a strop again because <laughs> he's got nails in his feet but there's the break in the second set now 3-2 can't tell you how close that was to being in oh dear dear me Better. Oh, he's too static. Yep, you heard him. Oh. Yeah, the serve seems to have gone a little bit wayward here. I'm not entirely sure what the reason for that is. But, uh,. Hopefully it's not going to last too long. <coughs> ah. Under a bit of pressure now in this game because the serve's been off a little bit. He has to say... Oh. Deary me. First break point of the match. Why don't we have to save? Nope. Well, three all now. A real lesson in how to serve. Fifteen love. Scott's running around the court here. Ow. That's wide. Oh, you, you'll regret that one. I tell you what, this is a ding dong affair. It really is. Absolutely pummeling these tennis balls. Ooh. Just habit playing the drop shot in that situation. I didn't necessarily mean to. I didn't forget what I'd said before. Oh, that's a beauty. That is a beauty. And now two break points. Hopefully this is where we get our momentum back. If they sort of stole it from us for a little period there, but uh, once again we miss. Missed the winning shot. Still break point though. Come on! Yes. The risk paid off on the break point. That was.
was absolutely brilliant. Serve seems to be back to normal service. Pardon the pun. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Every time he hits nice one there. Wow. And there it is. Five three. We're now four points away from a two set to love lead. Gonna drop in, no. Not enough control on this shot. Oh, so close. So close to being in. Totally wrong footed us there. That service is oh, double fault, that's just not good enough at this level. That's wide. I'll tell you what, that took a funny bounce, didn't it? Nearly ended up in the audience. At 5 4, serving for this second set. Gotta be careful here, we don't want to give him a sniff back into the match here. We need to make sure we seal the deal here. Two chances. That's why. Two set points now. Come on! We've done it! Two sets to love up after 25 minutes there, but that pretty much takes us up to 30 minutes of match time or episode time so i think i am going to leave it there for today's episode if you've enjoyed that then make sure you do leave a like down below if we could hit 50 100 that would be absolutely incredible for you guys to show your support that much on this series and yeah subscribe for regular tennis content i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye